Welcome to Phoenix Basics. In this video we will discuss the user interface and file handling. During the video my cursor will be highlighted in yellow, left clicks will display a red ring and right clicks will display a blue ring. First we need to open Phoenix. There are several ways to do this. The easiest is to use the shortcut for the VR editor. This is just a shortcut to the location of the executable file satxe.exe with the argument VRE to open the VR editor. You can see that by right clicking on the shortcut properties sat.exe with the argument VRE. This opens the standard user environment. You can do the same thing by clicking on the Phoenix command prompt and typing VRE. For more advanced users, you can also write a short batch script. And this will allow you to change the working directory which Phoenix starts in at the same time as opening it. This is just a very simple change directory followed by starting Phoenix line. If you change working directory frequently, this can save you having to go into Phoenix and changing the working directory manually. Instead, you can just double click on that batch file. So here you can see some extra working files that were produced when we opened Phoenix. Um, we'll cover those later on in the video. For now, we'll have a look at the user interface. This is what you'll be using most often when you use Phoenix to produce and edit your model. Uh, the main area here is the view window. The red box is your domain. Uh, this red and yellow pencil is the probe. Uh, these are lines down here are the axes. Uh, at the very top of the window you can see the VR editor version you're running here, 2019 version, version 1.1. Uh, below that is the menu bar and below that is the toolbar. At the very bottom of the window you can see the current working directory and in the bottom right you can see the cut cell method. Uh, there is sometimes a current case file path here once you've opened a case that's not at present at the moment. The toolbar has several sets of icons. First you have the filing and printing options, then you have the object selection and type. After that you have display options for axes, plan view, probe, grid, wireframe, uh, geometry, and then you have the main menu and object menu, followed by some object actions. You've got duplicate, array and delete, followed by some view actions finally, which you can use to manipulate the view window. We will cover the view options, uh, display options, object menu and main menu in separate videos. Uh, for now we'll focus on the file menu of the menu bar. This is the most important one for getting started with Phoenix. Um, first, starting a new case. The first time you open the VR editor, you will be presented with the default case, which is this red one meter cubed domain um, in the core module of Phoenix. Any subsequent time you open the VR editor, it will load the existing Q1 file from your last session. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. But if you want to start a new case, you can select file, start new case, and from here, you can change which module of Phoenix you wish to use. Uh, for now, I'm gonna stick with core. Now we will discuss the Phoenix current or working directory. This is where all the files relating to your current Phoenix model are stored. When you first open Phoenix, the working directory will be set to the default location C Phoenix dpriv1. This directory is where the Phoenix stores all of its working files. Everything you change and save in Phoenix will be stored in this dpriv1 folder at the top level, i.e. not under a subfolder and these are the files we saw from starting Phoenix earlier. You can change the working directory at any time by going options, change working directory, uh, and then browsing to where you want. In the last video, we introduced the Q1 file as the file which defines the model. It records the complete set of information from your VR editor session. This is the file that we will change the most when you're constructing a problem and is generally the most important. 
Phoenix uses a standard set of files which we can call working files. A number of these are input files, the Q1 and some others which we don't need to discuss now. The working files also include some output files which contain the results of the simulations and other relevant information. The file menu gives you several options for handling the working files and in particular the Q1 file. Here we have open existing case, that overwrites the current working files with those from permanent storage. Load from library, this overwrites the current Q1 file with that of a Phoenix library case. This is the same as opening existing case but uses a Phoenix case rather than yours. Reload working files reloads the VR editor from the current working files. Save working files writes the VR editor data to the current working files. Save as a case saves all current working files, input and output, to permanent storage. It's advisable to do this immediately after every run to avoid any data loss. Save Q1 file as rewrites the Q1 file with the latest model. It's advisable to do this frequently as there is no undo button in Phoenix. Phoenix will write updates to the Q1 file under certain situations. If you go to file, save working files, that will update the working files. When you go run solver, that will also update the working files. And if you open any input file for editing, such as the Q1 file, that will also update the working files. So really this dialog box is what you want to look out for. This means that if you make changes to your model in the VR editor and exit without saving the working files, you will lose your changes. Similarly, if you edit your Q1 file with a text editor, the VR editor will only display this update when you go to the menu bar and click File, Reload Working Files. Uh, this is useful as you're able to experiment with changes to your model without saving them immediately. For example, if you wanted to add a new object or change the properties of an object and you don't like the result, you can simply reload working files without saving anything to get back to the previous state. During your model construction, you'll want to save regularly. To do this, go to the menu bar and click File, Save Q1 File As. Um, it's important to note that this just takes a copy of the current working Q1 file and saves it as your case name, whatever you decide. File Run0, for example. If I look at that file there, Run0. So that's just taken a copy of whatever the Q1 file was at that time and saved it to Run0.Q1. Uh, when you edit something in Phoenix after that, you will still be editing the working Q1 file and not the Run0 Q1 file. It's important to note that there's no undo button in Phoenix, so regular saving is very important. If you do want to revert to a previous model, um, the best way to do that is to go File, Open Existing Case, Select Case, and then you can search for your previously saved Q1 file. Um, and opening that will, re will rewrite the run0.q1 back over to the working q1 file and again subsequently you will be working on the working q1 file not the run0q1 file. The last important options to talk about are open existing case and save as a case. Uh, when you run your model it generates a number of result files. To save these together with your q1 file you will need to use the option save as a case. Uh, this will save all of your working files to permanent storage and they will be named as case name dot file name. So previously we saw run zero dot q1. If you saved your case name as case one, you would have case one dot q1, case one dot fider, um, case one dot result, etc. Again, you are strongly advised to do this as soon as you finish a useful run. Uh, the inverse of this is open existing case, which we just saw. Um, this takes a set of case files previously saved uh, when using save as a case or save q1 file um, and copies them back over the working files. Um, again, important to note that this does not affect the case files in permanent storage and it only affects the working files. Um, it's also important to note that the current working files will therefore be wiped. So if you do want to keep your current progress, but also then load an existing case, you will need to save your current working files before you do that. 
To summarise, we have learned different methods of opening Phoenix, the basic layout of the user interface and important distinctions with file handling. Thank you for watching. Please check the description for links to our tutorials, FAQs, forums, social media and CHAMS website and subscribe for more videos coming soon.